Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we are doing Illustrative Math Grade 8 Unit 1 Lesson Number 5. First question here, here are some points. What are the coordinates of A, B, and C after a translation to the right by 4 units and up 1 unit? Plot these points on the grid and label them A prime, B prime, and C prime. A prime, we go four units right and one up. One, two, three, four, and one unit up. A prime. B, one, two, three, four, and one unit up. B prime. C, one, two, three, four units right. One unit up, C prime. They all went four units to the right, one unit up. Next question, here are some points. What are the coordinates of D, E, and F after a reflection over the Y axis? Plot these points on the grid and label them D prime, E prime, and F prime. So the y-axis, the y-axis is the vertical axis. If we're reflecting over that, D, which is three units away, we go perpendicular and the same three units away. E is five units away right now. Five units away on the other side. F is two units away, so we will go two units away on the other side for F prime. So remember we go perpendicular to the line of reflection straight across the same distance. Okay, here are some points. What are the coordinates of G, H, and I after a rotation about zero, zero, rotation about the origin, 90 degrees clockwise? Plot these points on the grid and label them G prime, H prime, and I prime. Now G, if we take this point, we want to rotate 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. So we can think about this as being a line connected from the origin to our point that we are rotating. And if we're rotating 90 degrees, we want the line to our new point to also be 90 degrees. So that is a right angle, 90 degrees. We need to be going the same distance, same distance. So this will be point G prime. Now let's look quickly at the coordinates of these points. G is negative one comma three and G prime is 3 comma 1. H, we can do the same thing. Draw a line 90 degrees. Same distance. This one's easy because that one is 4 units away from the origin. This one will be 4 units from the origin. H prime is the point zero four and h is the point negative four zero i right here we can do the same thing draw a line our point i is three comma negative two now our new one we could measure these with a protractor. 
but our new point should be right here. Make sure we've got a right angle. These line segments are the same distance. I prime is the point negative two comma negative three. So we will be getting into this more, but right now let's just take a quick peek. We went from negative four zero to zero four, from negative one three to three one, from three negative two to negative two negative three. The numbers of these you will see the x and y values swap sides and there are some negatives thrown in. But an important piece to be able to catch from this is anytime you're rotating 90 degrees, the absolute value or the positive value of the x and y value swap between x and y. We'll get into the signs a little bit more later, but for right now what I want you to be noticing is that we had a 1 and a 3, and then we had a 3 and a 1. We had a 4 and a 0, and then we had a 0 and a 4. Okay, next question. Describe a sequence of transformations that takes trapezoid A to trapezoid B. So we want to take A to B. This one over to this one. So my first thought with this is this is definitely going to need a rotation. So if that's A, we need to rotate it so that it looks like B. Where should we rotate it around? If we rotate it around this vertex, let's call that point P. So describe a sequence of transformations. We rotated it. Let's see if I can So if that was 90, and that's 30, that looks like that was a 60 degree rotation. Turn that off, we rotated it 60 degrees this way, counterclockwise. Then we need to translate it to get this figure over to here. So let's label this one and call it P prime. Translated from P to P prime. So rotation then a translation. We'll take figure A and put it on figure B. Okay, what's next? Reflect polygon P using line L. Okay, easy way tracing paper. Harder to do digitally on here. So let's just measure straight across. That looks like one unit straight across. One, two, three. So we need a point here, that point's there, the next point's there, this point goes there, this point goes here. Now let's just connect all our dots. That is our reflection. Again, easy way to do this. 
trace the figure and the line of reflection, flip your tracing paper over, plot your new figure on here. Okay, that's our last problem of this section. This has been another episode of Mr. Boskin Talks About Math. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.